Everyone, Bill Nichols, Bill Nichols TV. I'm here with Dave Sliwa. He's the director of sales for Sky Intelligence Technologies. They have the Sky Orbit drone that we're going to talk about today. And uh, so, Dave, why don't you introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about the Sky Orbit? Well, thanks. Yeah, Sky Intelligence Technology is a really cool company that decided to try and enter the consumer drone market. And go, they, did it, they did it just the perfect way. They started from the ground up, kind of ignoring what other people were doing, aiming everything at the highest possible quality for a really rugged drone that gave everybody just the right um, characteristics and qualities. You'll take a look at the styling is very unique, um, carbon fiber, very strong. Uh, the propellers are designed to make it whisper quiet and high efficiency. It's got a longer endurance than most of the other um, drones of this size, 28 minutes. Um, it actually turns on by putting your hand on it. It senses the touch and comes to life. And then you can see it actually has lights fore and aft as well that come to life. And so the styling is one of the key differentiators. Right. Another differentiator that's really neat is it's the only drone on the market right now that has a really legitimate auto follow capability. The other drones try, but what you find is that you're really only in the screen a small portion of the time, and if you try and move towards the drone, the drone gets confused and doesn't know how to react to that. What they've done is they've used multiple technologies in order to make sure that the autofollow capability actually works. They have a target that you wear. The target has a hyper-accurate GPS, meaning that it's better than the one that you'll find in your phone. So this has a dedicated GPS in it, not like the others, not relying on the, just the GPS of your phone, it's got its own. That's right, it's got its own. It also has a Wi-Fi transceiver that communicates with the drone itself, with the orbit. Now, in addition to that, they use some uh, uh, proprietary algorithms to anticipate your movement um, from inertial, fr with inertial sensors. So if I were to wiggle this around, you'd see the drone would be, the orbit would actually be trying to anticipate where we're going to next. Right. Okay, and then the third technology they use, they actually visually lock on you. So you set up the look angle that you want, the distance you like, okay. see yourself on screen, say that's what I want to follow, and then you're off to the races. You can put the phone away, you're no longer flying a drone, you're capturing really cool content. And in fact, you can try and chase the drone, and the drone will back up right. in order to maintain that same that same view angle. So one thing that I think of whenever I'm doing that is if I'm mountain biking, my angle may change or whatever. So at that point, is it just, you, is there anything on here? Do I utilize the phone to reset the angle, the distance? If you like if I need to change it mid-flight? If, if you wanted something to change, you would take it out of tracking mode, reset it the okay. way you want it, put it back in tracking mode. It also has another really cool thing, I think, inside the tracking um, uh, logic. If you want, you can put it into uh, point lock mode. And at that point, you're telling the drone, I want you to, f I want you to watch me but don't follow me. So you're setting it up in the air, stationary, like a security camera, if you will, and, and follow you. So when I heard that, I'm kind of like, wow, now uh, if my daughter is playing soccer, I can have the drone in right. the air on the sidelines following her up and down. Or if somebody's photographing a wedding party or reception, they don't have to be over the crowd. They can be nearby filming it from there. That's great. So talking about that, kind of, the, you know, getting into the camera, can you tell us a little bit about the camera, the imaging, um, you know, the resolution, does it do stills, video, um, and then what are some of the unique aspect, aspects of the camera or how it integrates with the app itself? Yeah, so the, the camera does 1080p HD video, um, 30 frame or 60 frame per second, and it has a 16 mega, megapixel still camera capability. Now, what's really neat, I think, is that you can, while you're actually flying the, the, the orbit, you can bring down the video or you can bring down the stills, you can edit them, you can apply inst uh, filters to them like Instagram style filters, you can apply music and if you and then at that point you can shoot it up to the to the cloud um, or Facebook or uh, WeChat or, or Twitter, whatever you want, Instagram, and uh, without ever leaving the app. Um, and uh, and that makes it that makes it really cool to take aerial selfies and, and videos. So all that editing, the sharing and everything, that's native within the app. You're not having to go out to something else. Absolutely. Great. And then um, as far as the, the memory capacity of it, it takes an SD micro card, I'd assume? It has an SD micro card, but it's built in. It's designed for consumers okay. that are not um, necessarily tech savvy. Okay. So um, the card is not removable, but you can download it, you can manage it, you can empty it um, from the app. And what size is the card that it comes with? Uh, I think it's 16 gigs. Okay. So it's going to hold quite a bit. Yes. Um, what about the controller itself? So the, even the controller kind of maintains this round um, kind of orbit type theme, right? So what can you tell us about it? Because it sounds like 
you may use this or you may not, depending on your skill level or what you want to do. Like, it sounds like you could use it without a dedicated controller, potentially. Well, if yes, well, it comes with without the controller. This is an accessory okay. because there's some people that are used to flying drones and remote control planes, and they have calluses on their thumbs, sure. and they get nervous if, if there's something isn't sticking right. in their fingers. I'm one of those. So, yeah. So in this case, um, you might want to use this. It actually gives you a little bit longer range and higher speeds okay. because it uses a dedicated, uh, like an RC transceiver. So getting into that, um, one thing we didn't talk about is the range. What is the range of the sky, either with the target module or with the controller? Well, with the target mo with the app, it's going to be Wi-Fi range, so about okay. 50 meters, 150 feet or so. And with the controller, it's going to be about 500. Okay. And then what happens, um, let's say that I'm descending down, I'm mountain biking, I temporarily lose connection or something. What's the, uh, what kind of features does the sky have to kind of recover from that? You mean in it, well? If like, it was tracking, you mean? Or? Yeah, if it was if it was tracking, I mean it lost the signal. Is it going to land? Is it going to hover? Is it going to stay there? No. It, so it uses all three technologies to the best of its ability. So if it loses you, like for example, you're wearing white and you run behind a bunch of people that are wearing white, it might not it might not be able to anticipate right. and relock on you. But it still has the the tracking. It'll still try and track you and, and do the best job it can. Right. And at some point, you might notice that oh, it might not. It might not have me anymore, and you can just pull your phone out and double check that you're being tracked. Right. Then uh, pricing and availability on it. So we're here at this show now, making our very first consumer introduction of this device, and we're going into we're we're actually looking for retailers and distributors right now. We expect this to be available at just about any electronic uh, retailer. Um, right in the very near future, within the next month, certainly in time for the holidays. And um, the basic package, you'll see it's packaged very nicely, and we're saying that this will be $799 that will include the, wow. the drone, the battery charger, the battery, which are all very intelligent, uh, design intelligent battery, intelligent charger, the tracker, and then accessories would be the, um, the remote controller, additional batteries, or right. even a hard shell case that we have for it. Do you guys have price on like what, because I know one thing that everybody wants to usually know is how much are extra batteries. Do you have a retail target for extra batteries we're, yet? We're targeting that for $99. Oh, that's a great price. So if uh, people want to find out more about the the, the Sky Orbit or Sky Intelligence, um, where do they go? I would recommend they go to uh, skyintelligence.com. That's S-K-Y-E hyphen um, intelligence.com. Awesome, thanks a lot, Dave. Well, thank you. Really appreciate it. Yeah. All right, guys, well, that's the Sky Intelligence Orbit. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down below if you have any questions or comments. Um, I'll do my best to get feedback to you, but if you, or if you've seen this, I know that they had a Kickstarter as well. You know, post some comments below. Let me know what you think. And uh, you keep watching. I'll keep making videos. Talk to you soon.